Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. Okay, so today is January 8th and the prayer says, Please help me to trust you in any of all life circumstances, dear Father. May I turn to you for wisdom rather than myself or the world. You are always faithful to answer and deliver on your promises and your generosity is limitless. In Jesus name, amen. Okay, so you have to see what's going on with you guys in love. Spirit guides of love and light, ancestors and sinner masters, my angel of prime light. Please protect us from any negative energies. Please them to receive clear and precise messages for the zodiac sign of a idiot. I just posted Capricorn reading on my second channel. So if you next to Capricorn, I have Capricorn on chart, please go check that out. Okay, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, guys, of my and sister masters. What's going on for a craze in love? Um, like this. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. Somebody wants to rush in towards you. Okay, somebody wants to um, have victory with you. Okay, they want to defend some type of idea here. Okay, you could be connected to a Gemini or a Taurus. Okay, but this person is focused, driven. Okay. And they're coming in towards you with some type of intellectual conversation. Okay. And we have here the two of swords. Okay. And we have here the nine of pentacles. And we have here the three of pentacles. Okay. So what I'm seeing here, somebody is rushing in towards you. Okay, because I'm sitting here that I don't know if you could have gotten an argument with somebody because you told this person that they need to make their man up and they're not going to be living um, in their double life. Okay, um, it's either me and you feel like you deserve everything. You're independent. Okay, you're, you're, you're doing good for yourself. Okay, you don't need nobody. You're enjoying the fruits of your labor. You're hardworking. Okay, you're buying yourself everything that you want. Okay, you can be self-employed, um, but you're happy. Okay, and you're enjoying your solitude. And I'm seeing here with the Three of Pentacles here, um, <clears throat> you, could, um, you could be doing some type of craft here where you do what you love. You get a lot of recognition for your work. Okay, the quality is very good. Okay, especially creative endeavors, and you're being paid well. Okay, and you're working well with others. You have an excellent reputation here. And I'm seeing here that um, you don't want to be involved in somebody being confused and unable to make a choice or unwilling to make a choice. Okay, and I'm seeing here somebody is trying to make sure everybody else is happy, but they need to make sure their self is happy, okay? And somebody is pretending that there's not a problem here, okay? Over analyzing the situation, it's like the Nine of Swords here, you not dealing with none of that, okay? It's like, we have the Eight of Swords here, yeah. It's like, you're not gonna stress yourself out because somebody um, not willing to make a choice. Clarify the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords, good guys, the one might and two masters, the Nine of Swords to me. Okay. So we have here the star. Yeah, see, somebody wants to come into the star. Aquarius energy, wise counselor. You could be a, a tarot reader or a counselor, something like that, or a spiritualist here. This person wants to rush in towards you, okay? Because they feel like you can help them make some type of decision with the two of swords here, okay? Because they could still be confused, okay? So you could do some type of work where you, um, you know, help people. You could be a therapist or a counselor or, you know, do tarot. Uh, you could help people, okay? And you're very good at what you do. And I'm just the eight of swords here. Somebody is stressed out. They feel restricted. And somebody's some type of illusion, okay? Entrapment. They have some type of lack of confidence here. And they feel helpless. And somebody's afraid to take action, okay? And we have the hermit. Virgo energy. Okay, so I'm seeing here somebody is spending time alone. Okay, you could have gave somebody some type of advice to spend some time alone here. Okay, so they won't feel in this eight of swords energy so they can reflect and they have a lot of people in their energy so they can make their own decisions and take responsibilities for their own life. Okay, and to see the truth of a situation, it says time spent in peaceful meditation because you know meditation brings answers. And it says in meaningful solitude, shine your light as an example to others, seek out or become a spiritual mentor, self-discovery. So I'm seeing here that some of you guys 
we're figuring out some some type of gifts that you guys have by spending time alone we have the ace of swords yeah you got some type of clarity and truth and we have the chariot see so i'm seeing here that some of you guys told somebody here that they need to spend some time alone okay or somebody has been spending time alone okay so they can make a decision and it's like this person reflected um a lot and it's like now they got some type of clarity and truth with the ace of swords here you see so it actually paid off it actually worked for them and we have the chariot now this person is moving forward cancer energy okay and this person is ready to balance out their life okay determination and willpower this person is moving forward okay they got all the clarity and truth that they needed from just being in the hermit right that's why it's good to spend time alone to rejuvenate we have six of cups here and now somebody's reconciling here with a love six of cups here okay they're missing you okay um and this person is healing their inner child wounds okay and I'm seeing here this person is also romanticizing about how things used to be with you guys. There's like the Seven of Pentacles here, and we have the Five of Pentacles here. So I'm seeing here that somebody either try to work to get their mind out the situation, because you'd be on their mind 24-7 here. But I'm seeing here we have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Transformation, we have the Nine of Pentacles. See? So I'm seeing that somebody was working extremely hard, okay, to get their mind out of the situation. But it's like the Five of Pentacles here, they still felt empty. They still felt, you know, alone here, okay? This person also had problems with employment. So it's like, no matter how extremely hard this person worked, it's like they never had enough. Or it's like the money that was coming in, it was going right back out either to their kids or the people that they took care of, their family, their kids may be. Okay, and it's like this person had negative thoughts, and I see that these negative thoughts manifest into this person's work life, and it caused them to lose out on a lot of money. Okay, and this person also had fears around the money. Okay, this person could have been, um, you know, afraid to reach out to others for assistance. Okay, just wanted to do everything on their own here. Okay. Yeah, and I'm still with the transformation here. Somebody is transforming here. So some type of time moment happened in this person's life. Okay, and it was a, a significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free of procrastination, releasing old belief systems. So this person is releasing all these belief systems, all these negative things that manifest into their life that they see with their own eyes. And it's like now they're the Nine of Pentacles here. This person is ready to commit to us, somebody here. They're ready to be loyal, dedicated, protective, okay? And this person is planning for the future. Somebody have a guardian angel or someone who watches over them. Okay? That really protects you. And it's giving you signs to where you need to go. Okay? Yep. Yeah, this person is going towards the emperor. And see? The Nine of Pentacles and the emperor. This person is making a plan to come towards this emperor's energy. Okay? Mm-hmm. It says, time to take action, give birth to your dreams, create a project to be very successful, abundance and prosperity. But this is a woman in this card, okay? So I'm seeing here that somebody is coming towards their empress. This person is seeing you as a very, a very nurturing. You have that mother instincts about you where you're just you're very nurturing, very caring, okay? You take care of people that's closest to you. You create beautiful projects here. It's like you manifest beautiful things for yourself. And you know, this person had a hard time manifesting things because of their negative thoughts. They came to the 3D. And I'm seeing you have the strength card here. So two major components here. So this person's going to have the strength to come in towards you. Personal power, assertiveness, betray with kindness, compassion that brings about forgiveness, realizing that you're stronger than what you knew. So this person is realizing that they're stronger than what they knew. Okay? They thought that they would have never overcame this this um, tower moment and this five of pentacles energy, but now they have beautiful things coming in towards them. They're also seeing your strength as well and how you can be able to juggle so much with the two of pentacles here and stay focused and stay in that empress energy. Okay? And that's good, guys. Yep, and we have the Wheel of Fortune here, and we have Queen of Cups here. You see, you juggle so much, and your hard work that you're doing, it pays off. We have a lot of good karma coming, a lot of good fortune coming towards you with the Wheel of Fortune here, okay? And you're still beautiful, kind, caring, loving, okay? Compassionate, you could be a psychic, okay? You have deep psychic insights. Caring for others, but begin to care for yourself. At times, you could have had a problem with doing that, Okay? It says, trust your intuition, a deep love of family and friends, follow your heart. Okay, so this person wants to come towards you because they see how caring and nurturing you are. Okay, and so the Ten of Wands here, this person, life is in chaos. Okay, they have so many responsibilities, they feel burdened, you know, and upset because 
you know, they have, they're juggling a lot right now. It's person be trying to focus on their money because they lost out on a lot of money because of their negative thoughts and their actions, right? And it's like the three of cups here. This person just want to have fun. This person is tired of feeling this energy where they got their head over their head, just, you know, pouting and just, you know, working too hard, too many hours, the need for balance in life, let others help you, health problems due to stress. So this person could be having some type of health problems going on, okay, because they're so focused, they were so focused on helping everybody else. Their family, friends, okay, lovers, whoever. Now this person is ready to just have fun and enjoy life. Okay, this could have been you, Queen of Cups, okay. But I'm seeing here with the Wheel of Fortune here, you're doing good, okay. So, what else for you guys if I might enter some masters, my angel of the prime light. We have a magician, see? You guys are manifesting something new. Spirit say you have all the tools to manifest something new for yourself. Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be successful manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. So you guys are believing in yourself now. And we have the page of cups here. I'm seeing somebody want to manifest something new with you. Okay, and they're going to be taking action. Okay. And this person wants to give you an apology. They want to be sensitive towards you, open-hearted towards you, okay? Yeah, the lovers. This person is making a choice to embrace true love, deep, intimate friendships, make choices from the heart, vibrant health, or recovery from an illness. Okay, so I'm seeing here the better that this person is doing and they're laying down these burdens with the Ten of Wands here, their health is becoming better, okay? Yep, this person is coming in, making a choice. And we have the Queen of Swords here. We have the Seven of Cups and we have the Knight of Cups here. Okay, so I'm seeing here, clarify the Queen of Swords. We have somebody here that's heartbroken, this Queen of Swords here, okay, that could have got a divorce because it said divorce or an married individual, okay? This person could be very judgmental, okay? But I'm seeing here that this person is heartbroken because somebody is choosing to love, okay? This person is moving on from them. And they're heartbroken, they're angry, they're upset. Okay, because they was in some type of fantasy realm with the Seven of Cups here. And it's like the Nine of Cups here. This person is still going to try to come in and be romantic, flirtatious with this person. Okay? Give me another card for the Queen of Swords. Yeah, see, this person have a lot of secrets with the Moon card. They're hiding their heartbreak. So this person trying to act all happy and, you know, humorous, but they're not feeling that way. Okay, they have a lot of secrets going on. Okay, mm -hmm. they're worrying a lot. They have fears. Okay, they're hiding it. It's like the seven cups here. They're still fantasizing about this person. They want to come in towards this person, but not of cups. But not of cups. They could be a player. They write on the line. You know. We have the Tennessee. This is a karmic ten of swords. It's over with. This person want to still come and you know. Lay on some type of finance, they were some type of illusion, right? And it's like this person's indecisive on their feelings as well with the Seven of Cups here, okay? One minute they feel this way, next minute they feel another way. Like, you know, make up your mind, right? And it's like the Ten of Swords here, this person wants to come back towards a, a karmic situation, wants to stay in a karmic situation with the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Swords, okay? But the situation is over with. It says the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness, a weight off your shoulders, the end of addiction. But they don't see it that way. They don't see that there's going to be a big change, a happy change for them. They just want to continue the cycle. See? Knight of Wands. They want to come in. See? They still want the, the, the toxicness to keep going. We have the Knight of Wands, which is the biggest player energy in the tarot. Somebody that come in, have sex, leave. Okay? Make you feel good about yourself, passionate, okay? And then they leave. Send the swords here. Somebody that's, you see, a, a loss of peace of, or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' action. A material loss. Make sure you're being honest with yourself. Embarrassing secrets. We might have embarrassing secrets here, okay? That they was a player, okay? They're afraid of material loss. And they're keeping things to themselves, Okay? Yeah, they're holding on to somebody here because of finances. It's four of pentacles here. They're still holding on to this person. They're not letting go. They don't care if this person is still a player. They just want money. They're holding on to this person because of codependency issues with money. See? And we have the awakening. Somebody has become awakened about the situation. I feel like this is this karmic here. This was making her act so dominant and aggressive here. Controlling. 
because you feel like there's nothing that she can do. She feels like she can achieve this, okay? Mm -hmm. We have the Ten of Cups here. It could have been somebody that they was in a family dynamic with, okay? Could have been married, had kids. Thought that they could trust this person, but they can't trust this person. Yep, and we have ego. See, the devil card. It was all this person boosted their ego. They could have been very arrogant, both of them, okay? But now Six of Swords here, somebody's moving away from that energy. The end of challenging times, things are looking up. I welcome relief, finding a way to a peaceful space, the end of depression or illness, travel or relocation, okay? So this person had addictions, unhealthy patterns, unhealthy habits, okay? Didn't want to accept responsibilities for their situation. They didn't want to make the choice to be happy, okay? They was being an illusion. They wanted to be trapped. But now somebody is getting over that. They're moving away from all that. It's too much. Okay. So let's see. What are some messages that this person, this masculine energy, wants to tell the feminine? Okay, it don't have to be a male or a female specifically, whoever is embodying this energy. Okay. We have the way we triggered each other felt too painful and I didn't understand at the time. So this person didn't understand why why y'all triggered each other so much. That's why they probably didn't want to come towards you and they stayed in that two of swords energy because it's like, you know, they felt like you triggered them like really badly. You know, they didn't understand this connection. Like why this person make you so angry? We have here, I have to focus on money and stability right now, right? And we see that. This person has some type of financial loss here, okay? And we see the two of pentacles here. This person is trying to work a lot of jobs and, you know, collaborate with people so they can have enough because you are doing amazing. We have, you made me feel something, this was confusing. So you made this person feel something and that was confused to them. They do miss you, okay? We have here, I think of you often and I still feel you. So this person thinks of you a lot and still feels your energy, okay? Um, I'm not sure I deserve the way you love me. So this person was so focused um, on money and not love. And, and when they did receive love, it wasn't really love. It was just people that were just trying to use them for the wrong reasons here. Put on the front like they love them, right? And it's like they don't feel good enough. This person lacked confidence, okay? Self-esteem, right? I can't be with you right now, but I will be back for you. So this person can't be with you right now because they have to deal with all this extra stuff, okay? Um, they money, right? They have to focus on speaking up for themselves. I wasn't sure how my life would have changed if you continued the connection. So this person knew that their life would have changed. They knew it was something different about you that would have changed their life and impacted their life. But they didn't know if it was going to be, you know, good for them. And they want to stay, you know, where they was at. I want to return to you. I do. I just want things to be different with us when I do. So this person wants things to be different. They don't want things to be the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. This person is transforming. Okay. So give them their space and time that they need to transform and do what they need to do. And you keep focusing on you. Okay. Let's see what the feminine energy wants to say. Spirit gods, above and light. Ancestors and sin masters. My angels of the prime light. What does the feminine energy want to say? Feminine energy, okay, this feminine energy has a lot to say. Okay, I sometimes still dream of you. So this feminine energy be dream of you sometimes. Okay, we have here, I wasn't looking for anything like this, but I surrendered to it rather than run. I wanted to run, but I didn't. So this feminine energy stayed, okay? Even though she wanted to run, but she surrendered to the fact that she had these feelings for you. I know that triggering is a part of this journey. It's no fun, but it's a perspective and opportunity for healing rather than automatic victim mode. So you triggered this person too and she understand why y'all triggered each other and i think that because this person could be very like um spiritual okay can know these type of things about relationships a counselor so they was very understanding the feminine was very understanding okay 
Um, I wish we were part of each other's daily lives, maybe someday, but no matter what has transpired in the separation, we are both growing and changing for the better. So, this film, they wish you could be a part of their life more, okay? But they know that you both are transforming and you guys need to be separated right now, okay? And you know, y'all going for the better though. So, you know, that's a good thing. We have here, everyone has a baggage, including me. I'm working on it, you. So, this film, the energy has baggage as well. She's not. 100% perfect okay you probably think that this is family energy is just perfect like nothing is wrong about her okay but you know everybody is human okay I do have fantasies about you maybe there are better left in that space so this um Femme energy have most definitely have fantasies about you they wish that you could be a part of each other's daily lives you know be married or have kids okay or whatever fantasy she have okay um, everyone deserves love, self-respect and self-love are necessary foundations for a healthy relationship. So she knows that you can't love her, okay? She knows you made these mistakes because you didn't love yourself, okay? You had problems with yourself and self-respect and self-love are necessary foundations for a healthy relationship. So she knows that you guys are separated right now because y'all have to deal with that. You have to understand those things about yourself before you could connect with somebody else and be, have a healthy relationship, okay? There are times when I feel stuck in this energy, then I pull myself out, but then find myself right back in. Your absence is heartbreaking. Sometimes she don't even think about you, right? Or the situation, but it's like she gets in this, you know, moment where she gets back in this energy and she thinks about you and you're not there. That's why she wish y'all could be a part of each other's daily lives. We have, I feel like I waited an eternity for you, then there you were and now you're not again. I wonder when the right time is. So, um, you could let this person because you had that issue that you need to work on, okay? And she feel like she wanted to turn to you because she understood why you were going through these things. But it's like, you know, you can't keep coming in and out this person's life. Like, she's wondering when the right time is. But that's also teaching her how to put up boundaries, okay? And I allow you to keep coming in and out of her life, right? So, remember, you know, divine time is at right here, okay? I started to feel safe with you, even enough to let my guard down a little. Your coldness hurt so much. So you could have been very mean to this feminine in here. That could have been your defense mechanism, okay? Because you were scared to get hurt, so you hurt this person first, okay? And she let her guard down, but she was like you were still holding a guard up against her. Or, you know, just in general. Healing and overcoming wounds take courage. I am healing and the silence are you. So she's healing, okay? She still have heartbreak going on, sadness going on with you, okay? But she's healing and she wonder if you're healing. Take your time out to be with yourself in silence, okay? And I'm seeing this family could be celibate, okay? Um, I am grateful that you showed up in my life. I will never forget you or this or these lessons in love, no matter where we both end up. So she knows that you know you came to have to teach her lessons about herself and love herself more okay but she's very grateful that you show up in her life because she would have never learned these lessons basically okay and she would never forget you because you helped her grow tremendously okay and that's what this connection is about help each other grow okay i accept you the way you are you do not need to come to my expectations so this feminine energy okay that's probably why you can't believe it because it's like she didn't have expectations of you okay it's like you came and then you left again for some reason, okay? Because you either still need to heal something or you still, it's still a lesson that you need to be learned. Masculine energy, okay? But she basically said that you don't have to be perfect, okay? Like, you know, I feel like you feel like you have to be perfect to come in towards her. Like, you can't make no errors. But she's saying that you don't need to come up to all these expectations, okay? She accepted just the way you are. Okay, um, let's get you guys some advice for whoever is resonating with this reading. Spirit guides, above and light, ancestors and masters, major the prime light. Please protect this deck from any negative energies. Give me some advice for whoever is resonating with this reading for the Aquarius. Spirit guides, above and light, ancestors and masters. Thank you. Okay, we have here, don't let the past hold you back. Spirit said, don't let the past hold you back, okay? Keep moving forward. Whatever mistakes you made in the past, don't allow that to affect your future because you have beautiful things coming. Spirit said, you feel more confident. Confidence is your key to success. So some guys are, you know, feeling very, like, have low lack of confidence, self-confidence because of things of your past, okay? Get rid of them outdated beliefs about yourself, okay? Um, you still can be confident, okay? You still can have, your dreams still can come true, Okay? Just be confident in yourself and don't allow the past to make you feel bad about yourself or low about yourself, okay? 
And just because you're confident, don't allow other people from your past to make you feel like just because you're confident that you're you go, you know you got ego or you cock you know. That's just how you are, okay? Because you know some people take that as being cocky, you being confident. Be confident, okay? F what they gotta say, period point blank okay so if this video gave guys a lot of clarity don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye